you know, who would have known that what started with kind of a walk in Lenox Park would now lead to a baby being walked into our sanctuary here at B'nai Torah. And um, so we will uh, proceed and welcome in the young man. As he comes in, and proud sister Allison is going to carry him in as our quaterine, um, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to say, Baruch Haba. Welcome to you as a rock. Um, the Torah tells us it's the responsibility of the father, the sweaty, nervous father, to perform the Brit Milan on his son. So I give you now this knife. If you would like to appoint a shaliach, an agent, to assist you in your performance of the mitzvah today, you may do so if you would like. All right, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy Grant will place um, the young man, will place uh, Levi Dove on the chair of Elijah. We have a custom that a lot, we believe that Elijah comes to visit us at every risk. Um, Elijah once challenged us, would we follow the covenant or not? And every time we do, he celebrates with us. Also, we believe Elijah that will come and announce the coming of the Messiah. And there's every hope that this young man will help redeem the world. And I'll just note the, pil the pillow that he is on is a pillow um, that is associated with Toro University, um, sent here with, uh, with proud grandfather. So, <coughs> uh, now, I <laughs> and so this bris outfit uh, that he is wearing was also made for grandfather Dr. Ed Halpern, and I'm actually told that it was made by nuns um, who patronized the family store um, and wanted to do something honor of the baby. Um, he's expressing his feelings about that show of interfaith uh, support. Um, and, you know, just to know, living in this community, um, you don't have to go very far to know and appreciate who Adrian and Eileen Grant are as people who are involved in so many worthwhile things in the community. And knowing the Grant family, Sammy and Tracy and Andy there and their kids. Um, today, unfortunately, we feel the absence of Toby Perlman, who uh, is hopefully on the mend after some medical issues. But we know that we are thinking of her and she is thinking of us uh, today. And uh, even as Ed and Sharon and Allison are here, uh, we also note that uh, great-grandmother Ruth Halpern was not able to join us today, and we uh, hope that uh, she is blessed as well by what we undertake today. We all just wish that as he has entered into this covenant, that he may enter all the blessings of Jewish study, of the wedding canopy, and a life of good deeds. Come here. This grandpa won't hurt you, I promise. And so, uh, Adrian will be serving as our Omer al standing as uh, we offer blessings to this young man, uh, and also his name. And it's my pleasure. Um, so one of the nice things is that John and Becca have close relationships with many rabbis, among them Rabbi Kinter and I, and it's my pleasure to invite Rabbi Kinter to do the more fun part of the service. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Borei Amen. Praise you, Adonai, our God, rule the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Ashekidishi <laughs> 
Command that this child be saved from our misfortune for the sake of the covenant that you have inscribed in our flesh. Bless you, God, who establishes the covenant. Amen. 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 Um, at this point, I'd like to welcome uh, Levi's grandmothers uh, to come forward at this time, Sharon Halperin and Eileen Grant, to share one of the many blessings that they hope for their grandson. Our God and God of all generations, we are grateful for new beginnings, for the bond of life that links one generation to the next. We are blessed to see the next link in the chain of our tradition. We are thankful for the blessings of family, which bring meaning and happiness to our lives, and we rejoice with Kevin and Maury as they celebrate this blessing in their lives. Who's Kevin and Maury? Becca and Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Repeat after me. Mishig Malef. Koltov. Huyig Malef. Koltov. Selah. And at this point, we will bestow upon Levi his Hebrew name, the name that he, God willing, about 13 years from now, be called up to uh, have him live in the Torah um, with that very name, um, a name that I know is very special. Um, to uh, the entire family. <laughs> Our God and God of our ancestors sustain this child, let me known as Arye Dov and Yosef Eliezer Halevi the Shoshana Malka amongst the people of Israel. May his mother be blessed with regained strength, and may his father find joy in their child as it is written. Your father will be glad, the one who bore you will rejoice. May they be privileged to teach them the meaning of the covenant he has entered today. May this child, Arye Dov, grow into greatness as a blessing to his family, to the Jewish people, to all humanity. As he has entered into the covenant, so may I attain the blessings of Torah, Jewish study, who follow the wedding canopy and our life of Nasi and Toby and good deeds. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Dear Levi, a glorious world awaits you, a world filled with promise and hope, joy and beauty. You are destined to achieve greatness. The name Levi is associated with one who is able to forecast the future, a leader, and most importantly, one who is forgiving and a model of good morality. No matter what your future holds, your family will give you limitless love and support to help you achieve your dreams. I am sorry you will never meet two of your great-grandparents. You are blessed to have Toby and Ruth in your life and blessed to have four grandparents who love you and will always love you and beyond measure. You are living proof that the Jewish people not only continue to exist, we thrive and we blossom. You and your cousins will ensure that our Jewish people live and thrive. May you and your loving parents live long, healthy, and happy lives. May you grow strong and smart. We love you so forever, Safta. We have chosen to give Levi the Hebrew name Arie Dov. Arie is in honor of my Zadie Aaron. He had a charisma that was magnetic and a contagious laugh. My Zadie survived the Holocaust through cunning and wit. 
He escaped the war by traveling on foot through Eastern Europe and crossing into Finland over a frozen lake. He twice escaped being sent to Siberia by essentially talking his way out of it and pretending to be an informant for the KGB. Zadie became so good at changing his story that to this day we do not know which parts of his history were real and which are fantasy, a tale invented to save his life. He became so good at changing his reality that he even forgot what parts were true. Arie means lion and has the connotation of strength. John and I loved the courage and valor this implied. We hope that by naming our son Arie in honor of Zadie, he will understand the importance of living for today and enjoying every moment. We hope that he will inherit some of his charisma, cunning, and charm, and the ability to create his own story. Dove, which is also Levi's English middle name, is in honor of my bubby Dora, a woman who to me embodied quiet courage. She spoke six languages and exuded a kindness and warmth that I see in my mother. She survived the Holocaust by living underground with her cousin and traveling through forests at night. She encompassed what I think of when I hear the word bubby. From the short curly hair to the girdle and the constant cooking and encouraging us to eat. Dove means bear in Hebrew, a creature that fiercely protects those it loves. It is with love that we name our son Levi Dove in English and R.A. Dove in Hebrew in honor of my bubby Dora. We hope that he will inherit her kindness, loyalty, and wisdom. R.A. Dove, if I have one wish for you, is that you will enjoy life and be happy. Too many people go through this life without really living it and enjoying each day to its fullest. May you smile and laugh every day. <laughs> Within moments of meeting you, my love for you is something fierce. It comes from a place I can't explain, and it will never go away. Please take these names and create your own story using the stories of those who came before you as stepping stones to reach your own destination. Your great Bubby and Zadie were survivors. May their memory be a source of inspiration to you as you begin your journey in this world. Arie, by naming you in honor of our family, <laughs> Arie, by naming you in honor of our family, we've set the stage for you to live a, lo a, live a long, meaningful, and happy life. I hope you live life with the following guidelines instilled in your parents throughout our lives. The cool kids today are using the term YOLO. You only live once. Take advantage of every second you have on this planet. Never turn down an opportunity to spend time with others, and you should never regret a decision you've made in the past. Both your mom and I have such appreciation for the limited time we shared with our family now past, and hope you will be telling stories at your son's bris in the future. Number two, never forget. Right now, that's an incomplete sentence. But this is a line that we're going to repeat to you throughout your entire life. It's so important to enjoy all the good times, remember the sad times, and have a story to tell about your life. We're here today telling the story of your grandparents who survived the Holocaust. We are here today performing the ancient Jewish tradition that still exists because the mitzvah has been shared. We will never let the world forget the story of your grandparents, and you should never let the world forget the story of Arye Dove Grant. Number three. Never walk past a person without smiling. Not only is this the reason that your parents met each other, but you can't imagine how many lives you will touch by this simple act. As you saw in the hospital with all the nurses commenting on how cute you were, this plan will get you very far in life. <laughs> Marie, it is your mom and dad's plan to raise you with these principles so that you not only live a happy life, but help others to live a happy life. Additionally, I want to thank everyone um, family and friends for coming here and who have supported us through this miracle. Thank you to our parents for the help that you provided us in the craziest but best week of our lives. The manner in which you raised us has provided a perfect model for us to raise Arie. Most importantly, I want to thank my wife for being the best mom Arie could have. I know that Arie will appreciate the physical and emotional pains you've gone through in getting here today. This past Shabbat dinner was the most incredible Shabbat dinner I've had. Not only did I get to bless my son for the first time, but I was able to share the H style tradition with you as a mom for the first time, which made it special. I love you. Please join us in the social hall following this after Sammy does the hamotzi, because no Jewish celebration ends without us feeding you. <laughs> <laughs> so over the course of the years, there have been many times that we have talked about prayers for healing. 
and for once we get to offer it for somebody else. <laughs> um, and with a great sense of joy and relief. Um, and so I'm going to invite Dr. Goodman to come and offer a prayer uh, for healing for the other. Ben Shoshana Malko Shlako Omo Shoshana Malka, Bad Shane of Fruma, Bufuar Shlema, Babur Shanifna Sabriduk Shank to Nifna Sabri, Kane Kanesh with Torah Bakupa, Ulamasim Tovim Vinomar, repeating at a brief Mila, the child to know life of Torah, the traditions which both of you are steeped in, Kupa, marriage like yours worthy of God's blessings, and Masim Tovim, make this world a better place each day of his life, can we say? Amen. So this week, Jews around the world are reading Parshat Lech Lecha, where Abraham is told to go off on this new journey, this new adventure. And part of that is the commandment of Brit Milah, as he experiences for himself. And so we are excited to see the journey that you've had together, and the journey that yet continues, and the growth of the family that you have coming forth from this bris, but also in the spirit of Lech Lecha, we want to go to where the food is. So we're going to have a chance for you to offer the blessing you just spoke so meaningfully about to your son here with us. Amen. And Sammy, I'm guessing you can handle this. Amen. <laughs> 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 